Hey everyone, this is Rachel and I'm here with another process video. Today I'm using my Scrap Room Double Shot Kit. This is from, I believe, October. And I had originally planned to use the Freaky Fast Friday formula they have on their their Facebook group. And I did use it, I just forgot to grab the formula screenshot. So I can't tell you what the actual sizes are. But these are what I've chosen and then this, what looks like washi tape background is my back is my background and I uploaded a video to YouTube while I was doing this and I'm like well they want to know what I'm doing while I'm scrapbooking and this is part of it all right one of the best things about this formula is I already have all my papers set to the sizes they need to be so now I'm just going to play around with them until I find something that's pleasing to my eye so I've decided to do a layered layout so I'm just gathering all the papers behind my photo and when I do something like this and I've mentioned this before so if you if you watch my videos a lot I'm sorry I'm going to be a little repetitive what I just do is I start with the top layer which of course is always my photo and I just work my way back adding a little bit of glue in the area where the next layer will be and then it works really well to just make sure I don't lose the look I created now one of the things that works well with having my ATG is that it can be separated if I make a mistake like I just did where that piece, that light green damask pattern, that was crooked. So all I did was kind of gently take everything apart and I was able to glue it back together. And it's a good thing because I have to end up doing it again. So I decide what this layout really needs is a doily. I add them quite often, especially with my little puppy dog, Sadie, because she is so girly, <laughs> which I know is a little odd thing to say about a dog, but she is. So I go to put my beige cardstock on, and I think, oh, you know what? I think I really want to ink the edges of all of my papers. So I start with the cardstock that's going to be the main part of my background and then I'm trying to go ahead and get all of my layers of my paper without having to take everything apart and here I'm doing all of this work and I realize later yeah dum dum that's going to be behind the photo you don't actually need to do all that work but you know whatever can't go back and change it now <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and get my paper onto that background piece. All of these papers are from Photo Play Paper, their autumn line from 2016. I cannot remember what the name of it is now, but it is the fall 2016 or late summer 2016 release. I'm going to go ahead and get my paper block, all, my photo block all worked out, and then I'm going to do some larger Heidi Swap gold color shine mists on the background under my photo because that's just the way I wanted to do it. Especially if I want larger dots, I tend to do them before. That way, if oh, Zans tries to come up, but those are still wet. <laughs> and then I'm going to add Studio Calico in bronze, and I forget how long it takes for this stuff to dry. I ended up having to just leave my layout for a couple of hours because it just would not dry. In fact, I think this is the next morning uh, when I finally ended up doing it or late at night. So the lighting issue is happening because my, I have my lights a little off kilter here. So I apologize for that. I get my photo all glued down and now it is time to embellish. Now when I have my scrap room kits, what I normally do is once I get them, I go through my stash and I pull things that I think will go. Like I pulled the orange die cut pack and my yellow die cut pack, that's how I keep my die cuts. Uh, I have a little video on it. I also grab these craft dark craft tags, some wood veneers, some cork pieces, some flare, just a whole bunch of little bits and pieces from my stash that I think might go well with the line from my kit. So as this is the first time I'm using this kit, I am just going through all of the die cut packs and going through all of the, as I said, the little bits and bobs I gathered together from my stash and seeing what will work with this layout. So I've pulled some cork pieces, some wood veneer, some flare, that orange tag, that yellow file tab. 
The orange tag, spoiler alert, does not make it on the layout. It's just too bold for everything. Now, I did pull the Teresa Collins Nine & Company die cut pack to go with this as well. And I'm thinking about using that word wonderful, but it's too stark. I am going to end up using those big floral pieces. A problem I've always had with the, anything I get from Teresa Collins is everything is so big. All of the die cuts are big. All of the patterns on the papers are big. So I love it online, and then when I get it in real life, I'm just like, ugh, how am I going to use this? I pull back out my Distress Inks, and once again, I'm going to use Gather Twig, only this time I did go ahead and pull out my mini Distress Ink tool because with the wood veneer, I didn't want them to take nine years to dry, and if I just press it into the ink, that is exactly what will happen. So since I have that already out, I'm going to go ahead and ink the edges of my die cuts and my journaling block and all of the other wood veneer on the page and my acorn broke. That's okay. Usually with wood veneer, I can piece it back together on the page. So I'm just getting both of those pieces of the acorn and then the little puppy dog. Now, with the little puppy dog, I wanted to do an even deeper shadowing. I didn't want to do the entire thing brown. So what I did instead was I did the edges in the dark brown, and then I'm going to go over the edges with my uh, black one. I couldn't, I know it's not actually called black, it's called something else, but I can't think of it off the top of my head. So <laughs> I do both the black and the brown with the dog. So now that I have everything inked, I'm going to go ahead and start kind of playing around with my embellishments, seeing where I want them to go. I'm going to move that tag to the upper left hand corner and think, see if I like it better up there. So I move one of the leaf cork pieces and a flare up to that corner. And then I have this other leaf cork piece, the acorn, and another flare. I move the dog over to the doily, and actually that's going to stay there. And I grab that file tab and I go ahead and slip it behind my photo in the upper left hand side. And I like how that brings a little bit of yellow to the top of the photo. And now what I'm doing is I'm going to go to the photo play paper sticker sheet that came with the kit. And I'm going to pull that word autumn, as you can see. And then I had also pulled from my stash this Simple Stories fall line. This is either last year or the year before fall. So either 2015 or 2014. I'm not sure exactly which one it is. And I'm just going to use that to fill in the rest of my title. So my entire title is A Cute Sweet Autumn Puppy. So I'm going to go ahead and get cute glued down and then just add a letter A and I'll be finished with that. Now once I do that, what I really end up doing is kind of making a circle around my title. I didn't actually mean to do that, but that's the way it ended up. So I'm going back and starting playing again with my embellishments, and I decide instead of that orange tag, what I really like is this fall leaf banner piece, then with the cork leaf and the flare, and then I go back to the photo play paper sticker sheet and I add a whole bunch of these leaf stickers. And I'm going to go ahead and add my acorn wood veneer. And then I remember, oh yeah, you've got those giant floral pieces to work with. Do you, are they actually going to, oh yes, yes, they are going to work. So let's go ahead and get some glue down on them. And I think instead of that scrolly thing, I'm going to add the other floral piece down at the bottom there. I like that scrolly thing, but I figured I'd already inked the floral and I don't get to use floral a huge amount, except with the animals, so might as well go ahead and use it. I'm going to get all my stuff glued down. And so here's where I'm making my little circle of embellishments around my title. I have to tell you, I did not even notice I did that until I watched the video back preparing for this voiceover. So it's actually kind of funny. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and do my journaling. And actually, it's kind of funny because... Uh, what my journaling is, is she looks so cute in the fall with all the fall colors and everything, but she's actually not a huge fan of fall because she doesn't like it when there's a ton of leaves under her 
paws and when she likes her she likes her grass <laughs> so it's just kind of a cute funny little story and I'm still gluing everything down there's a lot of embellishments on this page so it just takes a little while I'm grabbing some pop dots for my flare and I'm going to complete my circle with that yellow flare right there <laughs> and once I get that down I think I'm pretty am I pretty much done I don't remember now yep flare flare what have we got left? Do, do, do. What is it? Is there something left? No, there is nothing left. That is it. I'm going to trim off the parts of the stickers that hang off the edge of my layout, and we're going to call it a day. Thank you guys so much for joining me here. If you could flick me a thumbs up, that would be super awesome. I am so appreciative for every thumbs up, for every comment. Uh, thank you guys so much once again, and bye!